Yeah, I look really burnt. But anyways, guys, what is going on? This is the Man Broadcast. I'm your host, Tarzan. Tonight, today, we are doing a vlog. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting thing, as you can already tell by the thumbnail and what I'm wearing right now. We are going to the Bojangles Southern 500 here at Darlington Speedway. Um, I've been here for the past three years now. I only vlogged for one of those, I believe, which was last year, so we're going to do another vlog for this one. I did, as you can see, my face is all red because I did go to last, yesterday's race, which I didn't really film. I don't know why. Um... I really hated that I didn't, but I will film this right here, so if you're watching this and you want to know how it feels like to be at a NASCAR track or in a... Wait, let me fix the camera a little bit. Let me, let me get this fixed. I guess that helps. Okay. So if you want to know how it feels like to actually be like at a racetrack or be here at Darlington Raceway, hopefully my video will give a little bit of light and perspective to you all that want to um, see what it feels like. And also, stick around to the end because we also got another surprise for y'all at the end of the episode, so stay tuned, and, <clears throat> yeah, so for now, uh, I'm ready, I'm waiting for our belts to get ready, so yeah, let's go to the racetrack, and let's have some fun today. My winner, I think, who's gonna win? Probably Kevin Harvick, he was so fast, uh, he was so fast in qualifying yesterday, I don't think anybody can stop him, maybe Kyle Busch, maybe um, Martin Truex, but that's only three people I see winning this, um, so yeah, but, but at Donaldson, you don't know who, who's going to win, so it's typically, you don't, you I mean, that's, that's the thing about Donaldson, you don't know who's going to win, the person in first might crash, you know, in turn, in turn four on the first lap, you know, so yeah, let's get ready for this race, and let's have a great time, people. Yeah. Well, as that region continues to endure the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Thank you. We're so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs were singing in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still
stage. Coming down the line, of Martin Truex. Yeah, it was a pretty good race. Um, I got a few things just to recap, just talk about. I'm just going to chill here for a little bit. Sorry about this, guys. But, um, yeah, let's just talk about it. Martin Truex Jr. was lucky and really unlucky um, this today because he won the championship at Darlington, so good job, Martin Truex. Um, but he blew out a tire. or He, blew, he said he blew out a tire, but I, yeah, I think he just hit the wall. I think that's what happened. They either said he blew out a tire or hit the wall. I had to look back at the TV and watch what happened, but... Um, either blew out a tire or hit the wall. I really don't know which one. Uh, I'll probably have to look back and see it. Um, yeah, so he was really unlucky. He, I think he should have won the race because he was, like, really dominant. But he didn't, so that's really disappointing. Um, my boy Chase Elliott, he actually finished 11th, which is... I was, I was giving him, like, a top... Like, his goal for that race should have been, like, at least, a, like, a good top 10 finish. But he finished 11th, so I'll, I'll let him slide with that. Um, because there was some really unlucky moments, like, when he had a pit, and then he had to drive back around, because I think he had a violation or something. <clears throat> he had to do another pit. Um, Denny Hamlin sweeping again, which is, you know, back-to-back -back races, which are sweeps, are sort of, sort of not what the sport needs, you know? They sort of need, um, drivers to be spread out with the wins. I really didn't like him sweeping Darlington like that. Especially in the Xfinity Series. I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think the Xfinity Series should be just non-cup drivers only, you know? Like, cause I really hate that. Like, cup drivers can just go down to a lower league and just dominate like they do. It's not really fun. It's not really that fun of a sport if... if <clears throat> I mean, it's like... <clears throat> it's like if like NFL players are just going to be like, oh, let's, let's go play some, like, CFL. Let's go play some Canadian football for like half the season, you know, it's, it's or let's wait, let's play, let's play some Canadian football, because they play on like a Wednesday, and we can help this one team, but help another, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not good for the sport, I don't think, and yeah, I just think they shouldn't have, um, cup drivers go to the Xfinity Series and race like that, um, 
Another thing is, like, I was looking at the standings, and the weird thing was is how many cars got lapped. I know it's all right for Darlington to have that, because I think there was only eight cars in the lead lap, which was ridiculous. Um, that's how Darlington is. It's really tough to drive around there, and if you don't hit your marks, then you're going to get blown out of the way. Um, Kevin Hart was also, again, unlucky, just like in the Xfinity Series race last time. He was really unlucky. I, it's, 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 just, it's just the same thing over again. Last year he was good, he was dominant, and then his pit crew screwed him over. It's just the same thing this time. He was dominant, he was, he was, he was, he was leading most of the race during the beginning. He had the pole position, and his, his crew chief just screwed him over. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Larson was also good, he, had sort, he was sort of dominant midway through, leading the laps. Martin Truex Jr. was also dominant. Um, but yeah, that's all my thoughts and opinions about the Southern 500. Congratulations to Denny Hamlin. For winning it, he deserved it. Um, his strategy worked out in the end, and he caught a lucky break from Martin Truex. So, yeah. But, as always, I'm really tired, and my face is so beaten red. But, as, uh, as I stated, we do have a surprise for all of you <clears throat> that stayed around to the end of the video. And, let me get it real quick. Um, let me find it in this, my drawer here. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, boys, it's time for the surprise that y'all all been waiting for. Here we go, real quick. Let me go ahead and fix this camera up real quick. Got a little little package here. But what could these be? What could these be? Well, I'm going to tell you what they are. Oh, nope. There you go. Boom. As you can see here, that says Richmond. If I can get if I can get the light off of it, maybe. There you go. That says Richmond. Come on. There we go. Oh wait, is it? Um, dang it, just focus. Let me go back. There we go. Hey, come on, focus. No, you're Richmond Air National Raceway because I am going to the Auto Parts 400 at Richmond Raceway, which is going to be next weekend on Saturday. So, guys, we're going to have another another fun trip of NASCAR that we're going to drive out to Richmond, Virginia instead of Darlington. So, it should be fun. It should be nice if the weather holds out and everything is perfectly fine. We can go out there and have some time. And if you're out there with me and you're watching this video and you're going to be out in Richmond and you see me on the street, just say, hey, man, let me take a picture. You know, and you might be part of the video, so who knows. But that'll be the it for this episode, guys. If you want to see more of this NASCAR stuff, then um, click that like button. Um, if you're new around here, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And this has been your boy, Hard T. Snipe, signing off from Darlington Raceway. Take care, everybody, and have a great day.